What's going on, my fellow explorers and adventurers? I am GMO Explorer, and welcome to Belmora Winter, also known as Belkyrian Liberty. It's a roleplay map. Uh, now, before we get started with the video, 80% or more of you watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So, if you always come back and watch the videos, hear the rain, snow is glistening in the lane. I forgot the words. What a beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. Walking in the Belmore Wonderland. I'm done. It's not even Christmas. Let's get started now, shall we? <laughs> this map was recommended to me by Muddy Disco on a, on our Discord server, which will be in the description down below if you guys want to join that and recommend me some maps because I do do videos and I like to do content. So let's see what we got going on here. Um, There's two names for this map. It's also called Belmora Winter. I hope I'm reading that right. And Belkir, Bel, oh, Belek, Belarik, Belarik, I can't read that. <laughs> Belarikian Liberty. I can't, I can't read it. I'm, 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 I'm intellectually declined. <laughs> intellectually declined. I'm so stupid. Uh, what have I got going on? I'm, I'm, well, I'm already getting a futuristic vibe. That is for darn sure. There aren't any screenshots, which is good for me. No spoilers attached. So, the only thing I'm really worried about is, well, textures. So, I don't know what textures I'm going to need. But I will say I do have CSS. I have Half-Life Episode 1, 2. Uh, Half-Life 2, Episode 1, 2, and uh, Lost Coast and the multiplayer. I do not have Left 4 Dead installed. Uh, it just takes up, it, it takes up space, and I want to play some games, you know. Play games on my own. So what exactly am I walking through? What kind of Halo-esque map am I going through? Interesting. I'm, I don't know. I, I'm not going to be expecting another story from this map. I also just thought of something. What in God's name is that? It's on the tree, but I don't know what that is. I just hit it. I don't know what it is. Seeing as this is a roleplay map, I'm going to be expecting that, well, this place is going to be big. As for how big? Who knows? There is no noises. No ambience. Except for the sounds of my own footsteps in the snow. I, I'm most, more worried about missing textures. That's the only thing I'm more, usually worried about. These do seem like, these do seem custom. You know, they do seem custom made. At least the walls do. Um, uh, nothing that I've seen before, at least. At least I don't think so. I've been through 260 plus maps. <laughs> Can I get a, just a little bit of a break? I, if I don't get something right, you know? There's a projector there. This is obviously some kind of like meeting room of some sort. Or not. Maybe a movie theater. I don't know. RP maps usually have different uses depending on how you use the rooms for them. So I am not going to be the one to judge that. But I am going to be pointing out the little details. This seems to be some kind of like office space of some kind. Maybe? I don't know. This could very well be a bar. Is this a grill? A heater? I don't know. Who knows, really? It's a lot easier to tell what things are when it's in like in like a, a modern day, like present, no, present day, modern day setting. Whenever you go through a building, you go, oh yeah, I recognize that. There's carpet, there's there's a clock, there's a computer, there's a bunch of desks and stuff. You'd be like, yeah, I know what that's for. But when you go into like an unfamiliar setting, like uh, either from the past or to the future, you really got to just think about your context clues, I guess. I'm not really good at that sort of thing. Um, what is this place? I'm gonna hang. I don't know. This could be a loading dock of some sort. I'm not too sure. It's a really nice map. That is for sure. We got a stage here. It could just be a school or something. I don't know. It's very interesting. It could be. It could. It could be used for anything, though. You know. We've got a cafeteria slash conservatory. Wait, not conservatory. I'm dumb. I was thinking of a the big word for it, but I didn't. I didn't do that. Okay, but what do we have here? Is I want to know if like this is a school. I don't know. I didn't even figure out what the other two buildings were for. 
to find out. Where do you lead? Okay, we have some rooms. We do have rooms. I do like my interiors. Everyone knows I love my interiors. Two things about me I love about Gary's Mod is uh, interiors on my maps whenever I explore and water. I, I really love water. For those of you who are new to the channel and don't... Well, that, uh, the school thing is out the window, that's for sure. <laughs> that is, uh, that's not school, that's not school regulation. Unless we're going to Matilda kind of, kind of treatment here. I actually kind of like that movie, to be honest. Oh, well, at least we can open all these. Wait. Wait, why don't they open? Wait. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, I am honestly confused. Wait, what? What? what, what, what? Do I have to like hold it? What's going on? I think it's broken. <laughs> it might be broken, I think. Maybe. Well, let's just assume that they opened. I am gonna be easy clipping through in and out. Whoa, what the heck was that? Oh, it's just a shading. Shading thing. Oh boy, I can't wait till I get to the, the two map recommendations. I just, well, one I got today recently um, from Cyan, which I'm <laughs> totally not prepared for, but I had to do them at some point. I am the Gary's Mod Explorer, and if I'm gonna go through Gary's Mod maps, I've gotta do the horror maps. That's gonna be fun. And then I believe Muddy Disco also um, recommended another horror map that I've gotta do, which is fun. Ooh, the staircase though. Look at that. Look at the reflection of that. I like that. Although it's currently not the evening. I hope that's just the light from the ceiling, but very shiny stairs though. Okay, let's go this way. I want to go through here. I am recording late today. Uh, or uh, later than I usually record. I started recording like what, 2.30, uh, 2.20 esque ish. Ask is same word maybe possibly eh, I'm just going with it, but uh yeah I started started pretty late. I was hoping to and I got home late so I can't really control those things. When your job needs you, you do it. You know what I mean. Do I consider myself a hard worker? No, I could I kind of consider myself average honestly. Part of me feels like if I do my job too, I don't want to do my job too well, then not because it feels like a waste of energy. You know what I mean? It's not a waste of energy to do your job, okay? Let's just say that. I'm not trying to give like bad advice. Why does that look off? I'm not trying to give bad advice, but you know, at least to me, at least working a job for a while and it has benefits and stuff, it's like, I want to do my job well, you know, but I also want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure every every person can at least get behind me on that. And you got that one guy in the back like, boo, you suck. I do my job perfectly every day. Well, good on you, buddy. That's awesome. I'm proud of you. And I'm not just saying that to be mean. I actually am. I actually am pretty proud of people who do their stuff really well. Whether it be an actual job in real life or map making. What is going on here? What is going on here? I'm gonna guess that these are apartments of some sort, but then again, there's no toilets. And the doors don't close on their own, which is good for me. <laughs> At least I know I've been there. If the doors started closing on their own, we would have a problem. <laughs> I really do like this area though. It's, it does feel like, it's not, it, this is not a Halo that I've played, but I can tell you right now, it's it's definitely a futuristic setting, that is for sure. And I'm sorry that I'm making comparisons to Halo, but that's probably the only futuristic game that I've got on my head um, at the that I can compare it to. So uh, I can compare, compare it to some futuristic movies, I, I guess. I hope so. Maybe. I could, I don't know. What, I'm not going to compare this to Meet the Robinsons. <laughs> this, is, this is nowhere close to that. Their future is like completely all like wacky and fun. This feels like, you know, this, like this outside snowy area. This is why it reminds me. Was there... I had to double check. Ow. I don't even understand that. how that hurt. This is definitely a parking garage or... Storage, no, definitely not a storage unit. I 
It could be. It could definitely be that. It's a good thing I started from right over there. It made my way around. What do we got going on over here? Well, this is more Halo as it gets. I'm sorry. I'm really... If you if, if the map developers hate me comparing it to Halo, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry I'm making comparisons. It's unfair, you know, because I don't usually do comparisons sometimes to other maps, so... Well, I started at the... I'm guessing I just started at a base, you know? This is where it spawned me, so... Even the ground kind of looks rectangular-esque at least in my eyes just a little bit that's probably just me looking too deep into the ground going through maps for a whole year have i been has it been a whole year since i've recorded you know my first episode i believe so i believe i had an anniversary for the channel but i never celebrated it because it never actually crossed my mind but enough about that, enough about that. This is about this map. Hmm. I, I also want to know, like, when I get these recommendations, of course, for those who are new to the channel and for those who already know, I'm sorry that I'm repeating this, but I go through maps blind. I typically, I thought I saw something. I typically, typically don't read the descriptions or anything. I usually just hop on and start recording, you know, because I never know what to expect. And if something inappropriate comes out, I usually just, you know, you can just cover that in editing. This is definitely a weapons trading area. That is definitely for sure. I don't want to go down yet. I want to explore the upper area first. What have we got going on here? What do we have here? Some like testing room? Testing facility? I don't know. Could be a could be a training ground of some sort, or maybe boot camp or something. Who knows? Oh, it leads outside. Okay, well I don't want to go outside. I want to keep looking around. What in maze heck do we have here? Oh, okay. This feels like office spaces, but I can't really tell if they are or not. It, it could be some kind of maze of some sort. I, I don't know. Different uses for different things on. RP servers and stuff, so I'm not gonna... I can't exactly put my finger on some of these things, you know? But regardless... That doesn't mean I can't give a guess. There's a door over there, but I think that just leads me outside. Yeah, it just leads me out here. Oh, there's a little... Oh, there's a little... I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be like that, but it's okay. Okay, what have we got going on down here? Wow, this area is huge. Actually kind of big. What? Why is that like that, though? Is that because of the area upstairs? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why. What is going on there? What? Is that just a, is that just a plant going through the uh, ceiling? I, I, that's probably what it is. I thought it was another one of those like symbols on the tree, and I couldn't read it. Yeah, this is going to be some kind of like military weapons training boot camp kind of place. Or maybe this entire base is, is supposed to be that. I am just in this one base. I haven't exactly stepped foot outside the gates. Which I am now probably going to go do right now. Um, let me just double check that I've been over here. Um, I believe I have. Yes, I have definitely been over here. But I have not... Going up here or anything like that. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. It could very well just be the base, but I, I'm not sure. It seems like there's more area. I'm so curious. I'm a curious little kitten. Huh. Alright, well, I think it's time we moved on. Yeah, well, let's get a move on. I don't know what direction I should be going, but if anything, I should probably just be following this road. If anything, if if not an RP map, it could be used for some kind of like a, I don't know, some kind of war RP or something. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't know where I want to go. There's an area over there, but there's also a path this way. Oh, I don't really... I, I, I'm curious. I've got to see what this is. 
there's it's so quiet out here too i'm sure i know it's just the map and that's how the developer made it and maybe there's supposed to be no sound at all and maybe there is supposed to be sound depending on you know if it's on a server client thing uh, but oh it's just a, a bridge of some sort okay is there anything over there there's so much i want to go look at ow okay well, let's let's keep her going this path that I decided to take. Oh, honestly, I should have gone that way. Oh, I should have gone that way because I should have gone around the map. You know what I mean? Oh, dang it. It's okay. I'll do my best to remember. Yeah, I'll try. Even if there is no buildings or structures or nothing, it's still kind of breathtaking, to be honest. Especially with these mountains. I feel like I'm on a vacation of some sort. And I'm just taking a walk. You don't hear any birds. You don't hear any wind. You don't... There's no snow falling down. It's just you and the map. And that's... It's been like that for some time, you know? It's sometimes like that. Just me and the map. And that's okay. Sometimes it's a little off-putting depending on what the map is, but... When it's quiet like this, and I've got an area as pretty as this to look at as I'm walking around. That looks interesting. When I've got an area like this, and I'm just walking around and it's quiet, I don't mind it one bit. I'm not really expecting anything to come get me, you know? It's always those dark areas. I really, I, You know, it's just like the human mind, you know? It's scared of anything, you know, at least for me, you know? I'm an idiot. Don't listen to me. I'm just an idiot. You know, normal person, but... The human mind, you know, it's just scared whenever it's dark, you know, and I, it's understandable. There are things that happen in the dark that we can't comprehend, you know, what is going on over here? And what if it was the opposite like that? You know, you're just walking around through the forest during the day and you're just scared out of your mind. Why is there a wall here? Why is there floating grass? I didn't realize that... Huh. Can I even get across? I mean, I can. There's obviously something there. Let me see if I can find the entrance. That seems like to be the entrance right there. And it looks like it keeps going. Because this looks like another structure connected to it. Or maybe just a really big wall. I don't know. Oh my word. No, it's not. It's an actual structure. Can I... Can I go in? I really want to check out that, though. What's in here, though? Oh, I can't go in. Okay. That's good to know. But it's nice to know that it's there. Got another base over here? So I'm definitely somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. I have no idea where, though. But it, this is definitely a military RP map. That is for sure. In a futuristic setting, as well, that probably should have been stated at the beginning, but... Oh, wow. Why does that look like the Space Navy? It really does, doesn't it? You know, now that I've actually been there, can I make that comparison? <laughs> I don't know why I decided to come up here first. I wanted to check out the area below. Again, I'm walking through memories that I wish I had. I'm walking through maps that I wish I had memories of. But I'm making my own memories, you know? I'm making these videos, you know? I can always go back and rewatch them and say, Hey, I've gone through that map. Alone? Yes. It's fine. But I'm sure a lot of other people have memories of, of the maps for their own reasons. Whether it be alone or with on a server or just having fun in general. I'm sure people made some really good friends going through these maps. I'm just glad the doors stay open. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just going to close that back up. I'm really sorry about that. There was no need to make that noise. And I'm trying to enjoy what I've got going on here. Okay. I'm going to move on. That door is definitely broken of some... some I don't know. 
My door is broken. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go here. What's over here? I again, I'm I can, I'm not gonna be able to figure out, you know, everything, especially when you've got really big empty places like this. You know, I can if I was maybe. What do you call people who actually? If I was an architect, I'd probably be able to tell you easily. You know, snapping my fingers, but I'm I'm no architect. I'm just a normal person who talks their mouth off, and you know that this def wow. This definitely feels more important though, because you've got the tower. Which is like hinting that that's definitely like a point where they're gathering information or something. And this is where the actual location is to, for the information to go through or something. I don't know. It, it definitely looks like a really big antenna. Oh, these doors are different. Do they close on their own? I sure heck hope not. That's another thing thing I want to bring up too is that some maps you'll leave a you know I like to leave doors open because I like to know where I've been on a map and I'll be like oh yeah I've been I've been through there you know I like to leave doors open because of that but when I go through a map and the doors close on their own one creepy please don't uh <laughs> two uh it lags like it sometimes lags the map. That is a little unsettling. Um, yeah, that's just a tad unsettling. Just a little bit. If they all turn around and look at me when I come back downstairs, I'm gonna throw a fit. <laughs> that's gonna be a whole lot. Whoa, why was there just a torch there? Out of everything here, why wasn't it just a light? I found town hall or something i don't know this is definitely not town hall that that right there is a little unsettling just a little bit having all those heads off and a ceiling that almost hits my head okay, we've got rooms over here off to the side right here oh they're both they both leave the back here i i, I really want to picture what happens in some of these rooms like either on server or in between friends and stuff, you know? I really can't do that because I haven't played on these maps, except for when I start recording them, you know? I usually, I can only, I'm only able to play Gary's mod when I have the time. And I don't have much time. That's why I usually record so late, you know? It's the only time I've got. Then the software does the work for me before I wake up. Of course I edit it. I, I don't like, I don't put a what in the, what in the, what? Whoa, this is actually, what? what's going on here? This where all the data goes to? It, it, see, I don't know. I can't, I can't tell if this is like some kind of like node or some kind of like server room or something. I don't know. It honestly feels more library-esque if anything. If I'm getting that feeling and it doesn't look like a library, then it's definitely, it's got to be something to do with information, right? If not that, it's probably just a really nice room. I don't know. Because I, I imagine someone standing here watching over all these servers, or whatever these are, cells. Making sure everyone is in tip-top shape. There's little crevices over here. Alright, I'm going to move on. Is there another one on the other side? Yeah, this feels important. This area definitely feels important, especially when you've got rooms like that. This feels meeting room-esque. It really does. Okay. I'm going to move on. I really want to check that out. What if I can get up to the top? Do I want to spoil myself? Yeah, I want a little... I want to give myself a little spoil. What have we got going on here? And my mouse just moved down on its own. Thank you, mouse. Thank you so much. Ooh, what have we got going on here? It's going to hurt me. Oh, 
No, I thought it was going to hurt me. Well, look at the view, though. There's a building up there. I saw that. Wait, 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 wait. I saw it. Hold on. No, 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 no. I saw it. I see it. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I can't get a view of it anymore. Okay, so but right there, I saw a telephone line or something like that. The render distance was uh, not helping me. This is like a miniature space needle. <laughs> Honestly, this is the tiniest version though. The space needle I went on was terrifying. Oh, I saw it. Yeah, right there. You can see it right there. Right there. So the space needle I went on, I know this isn't a space needle. I, I know that. But the one I went on, the floors would spin. I kid you not. The floor will spin on the inside. It was terrifying, and you can stand on it. It was glass. Oh, boy. I have a clip of that. Should I show that? Nah. It's on my phone. And it's in really bad quality. Wouldn't be worth. Maybe one day I'll put it on the Discord. I know. It's just... Just a busy, busy week. You know what I mean? I'm now getting ambience though. I hear the ambience, it's just low. But that's just from that room that I came from though. Well, better to have sound than no sound at all, but then again, I've always said this. No sound is its own ambience. I don't want to miss anything, I really don't want to miss anything. I want to go through all these buildings, I want to see everything. Whether the rooms be empty or not. I just want to say I've been there, you know? Maybe I can... Maybe one day I can do that in real life, too. I can go like, yeah, I've been to the Eiffel Tower. Or, hey, yeah, I've been to Greece. You know, hopefully one day. Maybe someday. I can actually make some of my... Make my own experiences. Would I record it? <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, if I had the money, I would definitely do that. Uh, wasn't there a door? Oh, yeah, there was. Okay. I'm going to keep going in a circle. I can't really make any guesses with any of these buildings. I really can't. Some of them I can, but not all of them. And that shouldn't be... Well, this actually kind of feels a little creepy, I'm going to be honest. That green tint on the... On the yeah, this feels creepy. Even though it looks really nice. This is clipping out... I don't think it's supposed to be like that, but I will let it slide because I'm not going to be nitpicky. Okay, we got another one. Should I be nitpicky now? I'm just kidding. I'm not going to be nitpicky. Sometimes I'll be like that, though. I'll be nitpicking the map because of little details, and I shouldn't. But everyone, everyone likes how I like to look at little details, so I will keep doing it. What the? What? What? That feels just a little awkward. That room feels a little unfinished, but it's okay, though. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like that. These windows, though, but they definitely don't look... It does, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. That's fine, though. Who's really going to point out that stuff, you know? Who's going to be the one to point that stuff out? Me! Sadly. <laughs> Can I get up here? I don't want to leave just yet. I want to look over the... I just want to look over that. Why is that like that? Oh, there's a... Too. Huh. I don't know. I'm, I, you know, so far I'm going to be expecting an underground area somewhere at some point on this map. Maybe not in this part. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make multiple parts because it could all just be in this one video. Who, know, who knows? I really don't know how big this map is. I might have, have to actually have to do a second part. Also because it's late and, you know, I do need sleep. Sleep is nice though. I have even like pointed out like the wall textures or anything like that. You know, I've been looking at it, but I've, it, it's just giving me that futuristic vibe, you know? Something like that feels a little degraded though. It feels a little off. Almost worn and torn, but I'm sure that's just the aesthetic. I 
I, I would like to know what, like, what has been going on in these kinds of maps, you know? Regardless if it's server or not. Like, what are you, your guys' uses for maps? I know one of my, one of my subscribers, I know, like, what they like to do, you know? I know, I know what Colex likes to, to do. And I'm not gonna just say it out loud, but because it's their privacy, you know, keep it to, keep it to themselves. Uh, but you know, I know like sometimes what people like to do, and it's awesome that people have different uses for different maps and different things for Gary's mod. And it's really awesome what people can do with you know, even with places like these. Get everyone's creative bones on. Honestly, when when now that I've already talked about it, the the quietness is actually the creepy quietness is a little settling in just a little bit, just a little bit as I'm going through here. Probably because the ambience kicked in after I went through that teleporter. Cuz it's still the same ambience from the teleporter, I believe, cuz I didn't hear anything else. I would imagine it would have to be a nightmare to set to set ambience for each and every building that you make. Cause yeah, this is just me. I'm an idiot and I'm taking guesses, so ignore me. But at least for me, I think sometimes does this feel off? Maybe you're supposed to be able to go through here. Uh, when you walk through a building, like a sound trigger has to has to you know kick in. So right here at this doorway, either right here or anywhere on this doorway, there's like a cube or something, or maybe even a circle on the door or something. When you walk through, it changes the uh, the uh, the audio file or something like that, and it changes the ambience. You know, I would imagine that it's a nightmare for for map developers to do that. You know what I mean? Just to set ambiences for different locations and locales. The same word, but I it's a little bit more professional word but you know what i mean so I, I would imagine that it wouldn't have to be a nightmare unless you have objects that make their own you know ambience let's say you attach and i don't know i don't know if you can do this but attach a sound cue to a desk or something or just attach it to a door and make it maybe it, maybe it's easier than i thought it is maybe i don't know me taking guesses is not going to help unless I make my own map at some point, whenever I have time to do that. People are curious as to what maps I would make if I were to ever make an actual map one day. Well, I can tell you right now, I made... What was it? What was what was the program called? I made a, like a, a map for a stage for like a game I played back in the day. And it was like a really old software. I don't remember what it's called. Sketch 3, no, something, I don't know, Sketch 3D or something. I don't remember what it was. I really don't. It's It was an old program. Um, but I made a stage and it was horribly bad. It was horribly bad. Because I first off, I didn't know the program, you know. Ooh, wait a minute, I've got to shut up for a moment. I'll talk about it after. This is actually pretty nice. A very stylized prison you've got going on here. Unlike the other one, which was very... Is, is this a prison? You know? The other one seemed a little bit behind the times. Because this one's de using energy shields. Or just... Is this the interrogation room? Could be. Who knows? Okay, now back to my story. Uh, I don't... I don't remember what the program was called, but it was really bad. Because I, I didn't know how to use it, and I really wanted to make a level for the game I played. Uh, I don't even remember what the game was either. It's been so long. But it was so bad. Because <laughs> I didn't know how to use it. And it was just an old program. You know, let's be honest. It was an old program that I used. And it I just didn't know what a level should have. And what, you know, what a level should be during that time. But now it's 2024. I can say that now. <laughs> and... We have modern technology and up updated, you know, things to make things with. So maybe my skills would be different. I don't know. But I would need the time for it, you know. 
But for those who are curious as to what maps I would make, we need more colorful maps. We need colorful maps. <laughs> I really want to see some more color. I mean, the white. I love the white and the futuristic setting of this map, you know? I really do like it. This is nothing. This is its own setting, setting and its own map in its own right. For me, if I were to make a map, I would make it, you know, as colorful as possible, you know, but not too colorful to the point where like, you know, uh, it'd be childlike almost like you can't really, I don't know it. Can you make a map colorful without making it too childlike? And I believe, yes, I, I think so. Uh, because Stubbs maps, you know, the Stubbs maps, when I gone through the water and the purple mixed in well, you know, I, I loved, I loved all those. Stubbs honestly has really good lighting in his maps, honestly. Uh, so yeah, I do think it's possible and we do need more maps like that. I would make a carnival, honestly. I would make a, a carnival, you know, I don't think we have a lot of carnival maps we have when i looked up carnival at least a long time ago when i looked up a carnival um i've already been through here um I, there was only two maps you know and I, I would make like a big colorful water park like looked obscenely artistic you know but i'm not artistically inclined i can say the things that i want to make but i won't be able to actually make them i'm gonna move on i think because i think i believe i've been everywhere here And I would do it with with color and water. You know, color and water are my two favorite things, at least when it comes to Gary's Mod stuff. I've already been through there, I believe, but I will just just check to make sure I've been everywhere. Um, yes, I've already been here. Okay. I just have to double check, you know. Because I, I do love pool. <laughs> I do love the pool rooms, though. Would I make a pool rooms map? <sighs> I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> if I were to be, it would be colorful. It'd have a lot more color than just plain white, you know? Or plain normal high school or college pool textures, you know? Like in locker room colors, like the blue and the white or team colors, you know? I would get like funky with it, like some 80s stuff, you know? I do love 80s stuff. Void, Void Mall was. Mm. Void Mall was good. I, I really liked Void Mall. Void Mall was like a, is a good example of colors in a map that I I want to see. You know what I mean? Get that eighties eighties kind of vibe. But at the uh, the scary part, the, the scary stuff can just leave me alone. Um, but <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. I hope everyone's getting what I'm getting at. You know, I I know I get it. I'm an old guy. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. I get it. How? Okay, I want to go through here. What is over here? But yeah, I do. I do love. I do love ugly colors. I just like colors in general. Get a get Gary's mod a pep in their step, you know. <laughs> uh, I hope that's a saying I can say. If it's inappropriate, I do apologize. Uh, that's not exactly my intentions, but I'm sure everyone knows what I mean. Isn't that like a cheerleader saying? <laughs> get your pep in your step. <laughs> What does that mean? Who knows? What is going on up here? What have we got? Maybe a watch location? Oh no, this feels like one of the other places down there, but this feels kind of abandoned-ish. Although it doesn't look, f hmm. It's definitely unique, that's, sure. that's for sure. Okay, time to move on. Time to see what else this map has to offer. I'm going to end up running in a random location. That's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to run off in a random location, and I'm going to completely forget which way up and going. I need to find the road. Here we go. The only road I know. I walk the lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. 
Don't know where it goes, but it's only me and I walk alone. Bam, 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 bam. Oof. I feel cold just being, you know, going through this map. Oh, I've already been here. Let's, I think I have. Have I been here? We're gonna find out. Have I been here? Have I been here or have I not? I think I've been there. That is actually kind of awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go this way because I know this is going to lead me back. But just to double check that there is no other crossing roads or winding paths for me to take. I'm going to come this way. And I believe I am back to where I began. So it's time for me to... Was there no other way to go that way? I don't believe so. So we got to go this way again. Sorry if my light's on. So I usually just leave that on just in case. It's very bright out here and I was just using it for the interior. Sorry if I just have that on. And I know it's probably annoying for people, but... It's for me. Alrighty. Let's make our way over here to this path. Since I've already... Cleared up my curiosity. What is going on in this direction? I'm expecting another base of some kind. And if not, hopefully a city or a town of some sort. Futuristic city? Or a road that leads to nowhere? Is there two turns here? Or is this just one turn? goes up there. Ah, oh, but this road keeps go. I thought I heard something. I'm going to be honest. The road keeps going, though. Where does this go? I see a structure. I do feel cold just walking through this, though. It does feel kind of chilly. Then again, my AC is on, even though it's like 30-something degrees outside. I like to sleep in the cold. I always feel too hot when I go to sleep. Is it just me or is there any, where am I, where are my cold pillow people at? <laughs> you know, for me, I like to, I like to, you know, snuggle up my, I like my pillow to be cold, you know, my head to be well chilled out, you know. I should get a chillo. I think those exist. I mean, I, I got the money for it, might as well. Just haven't been too worried about it. You know how uh, when you're a kid, you always have that one stuffed animal that you keep when you grow up? You know, and you have it forever, and it's all like, <laughs> when you grow up to like a teenager or an adult, it's just nasty, or maybe not nasty, but like, if you take care of it enough, it sure, it, it's probably just tattered and old. I have a pillow like that, you know. I have one pillow that I love to sleep with ever since I was a, a kid. And it's been the pillow. And it's just all worn down and, you know, it it's tattered and old, you know. But I wash it, you know. I wash it so it smells nice and stuff. I, I, I'm not one of those stuffed animal kids. I'm one of those pillow kids. <laughs> Why am I telling personal stuff that y'all don't care about? <laughs> Uh, but still, though, I mean, I, I have to talk about something while I'm going through some, this map. Like, you know, I can only make... Is there something over there? I don't know. Ooh, I see water. Oh, I definitely see water. But let's take a good look over here first. I'm sure there's more area this way. And if anything, it's going to lead me back to the uh, that Space Needle-esque area. Even though it's not a space needle, it's just the Paris that I'm making. Another thing, another thing too, is that some of these maps can probably interconnect with other ones as well. Like Void Mall is supposed to be connected with Void Places, you know? It that's how it's supposed to be. Now, not every map has to do that. But when I see like an area like that that has a tunnel, either I think there's another map you load in, or it's probably a server thing. I feel like I'm just going back to the... I honestly thought that was a person right there. Ooh, 
Ooh, we've got a gate over here. What? And pray tell, it's going on in this direction. Hmm? What is going on? What do you've got? What have you got for me? What have you got for me to, to dig through, to have a little peek at? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate myself. <laughs> I freaking called it. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. There ain't no way. Well, it's a pretty long walk back to the to the water. Is it too late? Yeah, it's too late. No. Ow, that hurts. Hello? That's turning green when I hit it. But then again, that probably it's probably probably just the dust. Oh, this whole thing is a ladder. Oh, I didn't even realize. Ow. What? Wait. What? Oh no, this is big. Oh no, I'm gonna get lost. That is a pit, so let's ignore the pit and just check over here around the corner. Does this just loop? This does not just loop. All right, I'm definitely gonna get lost. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Ooh, I have an idea though. We'll just mark my way with the gems. That sounds like a good idea, right? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I'm just gonna hit these gems so I don't lose my way. Uh, breadcrumbing my way around. Um, kind of smart, but also pretty stupid if they, um, I don't know, I don't know if they stay there forever. I haven't really tested this out, so we're gonna test this out now. Might as well find out, right? <laughs> I don't know if this actually works. They could probably just disappear. No, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna breadcrumb. No, I, I trust my instincts. I'm gonna say that. You know what? If I ever say that and I'm exploring the catacombs in Paris, do not listen to me. <laughs> this actually probably would be a good area to use my flashlight in. We could definitely have some mining role play down here. Get some gemstones and stuff for money and stuff. Things like that? Oh god. Oh no. Um, don't lose yourself. Don't lose yourself. Trust your instincts. Trust your instincts. You said to trust your instincts and you're gonna freaking do it. You've explored 260 something maps. You got it. Well, then again, two, minus 10 for multiple parts and different maps, but you know what I mean. I've explored a lot, okay. <laughs> It's very green down here, obviously because of the gemstones or whatever these are meant to be. Oh, is this the loop I was just in? Aha, uh -huh, it was. Okay, wait, I wanna make sure I didn't miss a turn. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, that loops around that way. This goes this way. Oh god, oh god, okay, okay, it's not that maze-like, okay, I found, oh god, I didn't have to breadcrumb my way, I was just, okay, we're fine, we're fine, although I, I feel like I'm supposed to be interacting with these, okay, but we're gonna move on regardless, I'm just glad that wasn't as creepy as I thought it was going to be. Whew, we're out. Okay. I know I've already been in here, but I just wanted to give it a little, another check. All right, well, the real question is, do I keep going this way or do I make my way back to the water? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure just going this direction will just lead me back to the bit, to the other area, but uh, I mean, who knows? Might as well just get, might as well make sure, you know? Or I could go up here.
I really hope I don't miss anything. This map is big. Big map. Big boy. Big boy map. What is down here? Wind pray tells over here. Okay, I thought that was a cave or something over here. The ambience is really kicking up, though. Well, at least the volume is. Okay, let's go this way. I believe I've already... I feel like I've already been over here. If not, I don't think I've been over here. Not in this particular direction, at least. But the road keeps going this way, so I'm going to follow it. This is not really a road, if anything. It's just the only thing I've got going as called a path. I believe this just leads me back to uh, this area over here, right? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, so um, let's take a little shortcut. Might as well go through the middle of the map and go off the path less traveled. Go on the path less traveled, not off. Maybe we'll find something interesting. I'm taking a listen. I thought I heard something, I'm gonna be honest. That tree's floating, by the way. <laughs> that tree is currently floating. Does anyone have any uh, guesses as to why that is? Ooh, ooh, I know, I know, I know. Jimmy, for the last time, no, it wasn't from the Martians. Oh. No, mayonnaise isn't an instrument either, Jimmy. Dang it. That was a bad Patrick callback, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I've been here. I recognize that path, that little patch there. Okay, I do want to, uh, well, I want to make my way back, that's for sure. I want to make my way back. And I want to take a look at that, that area with water, the lake of some sort. I can clearly tell this is a little abnormal, but that's fine. I'm nitpicking again. Nothing gets past these eyes, unless they're really, unless they're secrets and I completely forget them. Okay, I've already been here. Yes, yes, I've already been here. I got you. Um, I want to go in this direction, though. I want to see what is over yonder. Yonder, under, over, and out. And I'm itchy. Ooh, hello. I was not expecting one of these up here. I'm gonna be honest. It was good to know that there is, oh, there's more. Really wasn't ex expecting this here. Pretty off, pretty off the grid, honestly, off the path. Ooh, I do want to look at that water though. These snow maps really kill it though. See the base over there? I want to take a look at that water too. I just, want, I just want to make sure I've seen everything. I can see a building off of the distance, but I'm pretty sure I've been there. I, at least I hope I have. Where's this water? Ah, here it is. Oh, that hurt a little bit. I love Gary's Mod Water. I really do. Now, I don't want to be that guy, but is the lighting on the water reflection a little off, or is that just me? I'm nitpicking. I'm sorry. I'm nitpicking. I'm. I'm gonna stop nitpicking. I'm sorry. I just like. I'm just like. It feels like the water is like in like a sunset kind of vibe. Even though it's clearly maybe like midday or something, you know? That's just me nitpicking. I'm just nitpicking. I love water. I, lo I love this map. <laughs> Honestly, I was expecting this water to be kind of frozen or something. I was expecting ice, you know? But I guess not. 
probably only like only like that whenever the temperatures are really low. So the the water being like this is telling me the temperature is definitely low, but not below freezing point, right? Not below water freezing point. Okay, it's Gary's mod. I really should be picking up these things out, but I mean, come on. I can make some comparisons. I've been doing it this entire video. Even though I probably shouldn't. Even though I clearly stated at the beginning. I don't like the deep comparisons. Whoa, why did it feel like it was deeper than it usually was? I really think that might be the map. I feel like I've seen everything here. And it's only almost been an hour. 55 minutes to be exact, or at least to my recording time. Let's get one good walk around and make sure we've seen everything before I decide to call it there. I really, I really do hate missing like little secrets and stuff. There could very well be something like on top of a mountain of a mountain that I haven't seen, you know? I feel so small too, you know? This makes me feel tiny. The world is vast. Ooh, hello. Wait a minute. What in the... What is going on right here, huh? What is this? What have you got going on? Ah! See? Okay, we are getting something somewhere. Definitely haven't been here. Whoa, it's a little dark. Oh, never mind. Alrighty, what have we got going on here, you secret off the beaten path location? Ooh, there's a staircase here too. That is exactly why I do my walk arounds. Just so I can make sure that I've seen every if I fall from this height, I might actually lose my HP. Okay, no, we're good. Okay, what have you got behind big door number one? You, whoa. Okay. Kind of punk futuristic wall setting, but I'm pretty sure some of this is already, I've already seen some of this though. Not here though. This is literally feeling like it's inside the mountain. We got a base inside of a base. Oh no, this might actually might be the maze. <laughs> you thought the underground was the maze? This actually might be the maze. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's not too tantalizing, not too uh, overbearing. Why, why tell me go that way and then go that way? There's a box here. Just sitting there. Okay, I've already been over here. I'm just double checking. Tantal is tantalizing a good word? I don't know if that's the correct word usage I just used. Okay, I can't go in there. It's, there's a button either. Maybe I can go around. What is going on over here? What in what? There's so much space. What activities are going on here? If I were to have a military base, I would love to have it in a mountain or something. Somewhere secretive. Could be where the supplies are. Could just be where they store all those, their supplies. That could very well, much well be the case. All right, I do want to see what's behind this door though. There's nothing behind the door. <laughs> A door with no entry, you say? Make sure there's no other doorways or anything off to the side or in the corner somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my way, wait, make my way back. I'm gonna go this way though. It is now officially been an hour, so now I can say, 
an hour. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, let's keep doing our walk around just to make sure there aren't any more areas like this one that are just hidden off to the side. Is that really hidden though? I don't know. I I didn't see it earlier. Oh my god. Uh, I want to be honest. When I was coming this way, look, 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 look. When I was walking up here, I thought a space was spaceship or something was passing by. I'm gonna be honest. It was just the op. It's just the render distance. I thought it was like something coming by my screen or something. Okay. I really want to do my final Z clip. I really do, just to see what else I could have possibly missed. Even though I've given this map such a great look. Parkour, hardcore parkour. Me up here too. Jesus, it's really bright up here. Ah, my irises. Jesus. At least we could technically see everything up here. It really is bright up here though. Holy. I I honestly think it's time to give this map a good Z clip. What do you guys th I really think so. At least I believe so. It's gonna hurt. I knew it. Alrighty. I think it's uh, about time. Warning, there'll be frame lags, frame delays, quality drops, and frame skips possibly. Just a warning. You have been warned. Alright, let's see what we got going on. I gave it such a really good look. I really hope I gave it a really in-depth look. At, in terms of uh, lo location. Did I go up this mountain? No. Was there anything up this mountain? No. But the experience is there, though. It does seem like there's a trail right here-ish just to get the view, you know? Maybe I should have waited to Z-Clip. And again, I feel like I've seen everything. But we're going we're gonna to just make sure. We're just going to double check. This map is huge. Huge in its own right. Were there a lot of structures? Uh, in terms of like role play, like uh, like in a city setting, no. But there does does there need to be? No, there doesn't really need to be. You've got a big area to mess around in. You can honestly just take a drive around this place and just have fun with it. I have been everywhere though. Maybe not in the crevices and corners of every location, but I've definitely been. That kind of looks suspicious, to be honest. That that looked kind of suspicious. Just a little bit. It looked like a letter B, honestly. Huh. I'm going to check under the map in just a moment. I want to just make sure there's no other location or any unique location that I'm supposed to be finding. I, I don't believe I've missed anything. Surprisingly, with a big map like this, it doesn't seem like I have. I know for sure. I know for sure I would have missed this one over here. I already lost it. Yeah, I already for sure would have known I would have missed that one if I didn't do my last walk around. If there's a building or something I missed, it's bravo on you. I really did look. It's also because it's probably late, and that's not... A reason I'm ending the recording. That that's not a reason. I'm just saying. But this place is this place is huge. I'm just re re surprised that I feel like I've seen everything, but I also feel like I'm missing something. You know. Okay, let me check under the map just to make sure there isn't. Wait a minute. I see a room over there. Could be an admin room. Oh geez, that actually kind of scared me a little bit. I, two rooms. Okay, we got two rooms over there. This is just the cave system that's down here. The optimization's got to kick in, or the not optimization, but the render distance has got to kick in over here. Yeah, I just turned on my caps lock. I'm dumb. Ah, oh, my shift key stuck. No. Okay, good. Okay, so we have two. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, I've already been down there. Okay, we're good. I was about to. 
<laughs> I don't want there to be secret areas that I haven't seen, you know? I want to be able to see everything. Okay, I did. I have seen every. I have seen everything. Okay. What, pray tell? Is going on over here? What is this? What's this? What's this? Don't teleport me, please. Please don't teleport me. Whoa, what is this? A testing room of some sort? Okay. Whoa. Okay, we've got a testing room right here. What about this one over here? Another testing room? It could just be an admin room for the, for the server. You know what I mean? It's a possibility. Okay. I've pretty much seen what I've needed to see. Or at least I hope I have. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you always ever want to recommend me maps, you can join our Discord server. We take map recommendations there. Uh, this one in particular was a map recommendation, and I'm currently on a field day with map recommendations at the point at this at this moment in time because maps, um, and because I'm pretty sure uh, it's honestly an easier way for me to keep track. So if you ever guys want to recommend me maps. My Discord server will be in the description down below. I can't English. Description down below. If oh, you ever want to join. I didn't see that when I hit the button. Uh, you can always join there. And say hi. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.